Hello everyone. Praise the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Greetings in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I welcome all of you by a new and living way which was all in the Lord Jesus Christ by his own flesh. Hallelujah. What a good dad we serve. Amen. Today is a new day God had created for you and for me to serve him to glorify his name. That's why God had created. That's the very purpose God had created to bring glory to his name. Hallelujah. As we have been listening to the word of God and most importantly from James 1:22 it says that be doers of the word not only just hearers. Right? So I'm going to talk about from Psalms 91 chapter most of you know about this chapter those are all you know born again christians know this chapter 91 and you're familiar with this chapter right so if you look at the 10th verse in 91 psalm it clearly says that there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling it's a beautiful verse i used to recite a lot this verse there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling what a powerful promise god has given us he loves us so much whether you do not know how much you love yourself but god loves you so much dear friends jesus loves us so much hallelujah bible says that for us to claim for us to you know recit and believe in our heart that shall no evil befall us neither shall any play come nigh dwelling you have to personalize this word you have to keep this word in your heart and keep on telling this word by meditating in your heart that shall no evil befall me neither that shall any play come nigh my dwelling in Jesus name and we have to keep on telling this word and this is a very powerful word whatever you hear out in the world A lot of news are going around us. It might bother you. I'm telling you today. Tune your spirit. Tune your mind and tune your body to the word of God. The spirit contains the word. The word is the Bible says Jesus says that my word is the spirit and life. So you have the word of God inside of you. The word says now that shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling mute all the noises around you don't listen to the news the medias which are you know talking about certain things happening around us certain virus happening around us i'm requesting you to read this word and meditate this word in fact you can read the whole chapter of psalms 91 and if you keep telling to yourself that or if you keep lay hands on our children and you know just as a family you can recite this verse that shall no evil befall us neither shall any plague come nigh our dwelling our houses you know protected by the blood of Jesus and you know he has sent his angels to protect us and the heavenly host is around us and Jesus blood is always available for us to take shelter hallelujah what a powerful promise it is no evil come to you no evil neither any plague come near your dwelling yes bible says that you may be hear a lot of things on your left hand side or right hand side you know many of fall but i am telling you today nothing will come to pass in jesus name if you believe in your heart this particular verse tell to yourself i'm blessed and god is protecting me no evil will come to me i'm well protected i am the beautiful garden of the lord he has put fence around me and around my family and my house is completely protected and sealed insulated by the blood of jesus there's no plague there can come to my house because i'm founded in christ jesus and jesus absorbed all the sicknesses jesus absorbed all the sin in his body and he became sin for me and he gave all prices now the sickness and sin are powerless those who believe this truth what's the truth jesus absorbed 
all the sicknesses, all the sins in his body and buried it along with him. And it has got, you know, it lost its power. It lost its power. The sin and sickness, they lost its power. And Jesus rose again from dead for you and for me. And he has given us a brand new life. The beautiful way, the living way he has given us. Come inside of this. His beautiful way. And enjoy all the blessings. Don't worry about what's happening around you. Lay hands upon the doorpost or the wall and tell that shall no evil befall me. Neither shall any play come nigh this dwelling. Come nigh my dwelling. Tell. And just walk across inside your home. Raise your hands and thank God and praise Him. And declare this verse continuously. I'm telling you today. You are exactly protected. And you are surrounded by His glory. And you are completely sealed by His power. And you are totally insulated. And the angels of God are appointed to take care of you and your family. Hallelujah. Let's not worry about what's happening around us. Let's praise and thank God for Lord Jesus Christ. Let tell to the people, my Jesus has borne all of the diseases and sicknesses. So I'm not worried. I'm not worried. The fear is just gone out of me because of Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ has paid everything for us. Hallelujah. Bible says in one place, as Jesus is, so are we in this world. Yes. And another place, Bible says, as man thinketh in his heart, so is he. The way you think is very important. You have to think yourself as a person living by Jesus, as a person protected by Jesus. You have to see yourself living under the complete protection of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I believe this day is a blessed day for you. Just go out with all courage and always meditate this world and you will see the blessings of the Lord. No fear can stand before you. In Jesus name I say, blessed be the name of the Lord. God bless you. Bye bye.